In Merseyside, the crew have been called to a fire shout at a very familiar office block. This is a lot more serious than the previous incident, however, and there are three pumps in attendance. The crew, equipped with breathing apparatus, swiftly prepare to enter the building. They can't waste any time waiting for a key, so they have to smash their way in. Sorry. Incident Commander Dave briefs the crew and they get straight to work tackling the blaze inside. We received a call to uh, alarms uh, in the building behind us, which is Magdalen House, which is a uh, Septon Council office block. On arrival, we attended the front of the building and we could see smoke issuing from what we thought was the roof of the building. Sent an appliance round to the rear. They discovered there was a, a couple of industrial wheelie bins had become involved in fire, which has spread to the ground floor and first floor of the building. It's not clear how the fire started, but it would appear that this could well be yet another act of mindless arson. Rubbish fires cost Liverpool over £11 million last year. To combat this, Merseyside Fire and Rescue Service have dedicated teams working in the community and have almost halved this anti-social behaviour problem over recent years. As the crew tackled the blaze inside, Tony brings the fire under control outside. This is an extremely dangerous situation as the building is still on fire. Redwatch and the search and rescue team have been called to an incident. A body has been found floating in the Leeds Liverpool Canal. An audience has already gathered to watch them go to work with their water recovery operation. The team prepare their kit, but it looks like they might have to wait a while before they get a chance to use it. All fire service personnel have been asked to withdraw from the scene by the uh, crime scene inspector. They want to preserve the scene. Once they've made a decision, we're going to go back and uh, maybe retrieve the body from the water. But we're going to have to wait until uh, they say so. Uh, could you ask the lads to come over and uh, make our kit up because uh, we're not required over? At this stage, it's not known how the casualty died. So the police have declared this a crime scene. Yeah, we've been in attendance now for approximately an hour and what the senior police officers decided that they're going to request the police diving team to come along and retrieve the body instead of us doing it for them. This is because it's been treated as a scene of crime. So once they've been into the water and studied the scene, there might be an opportunity for the fire service to give them a hand and retrieve the body. So Red Watch and the SRT stand down, collect their kit and leave the incident to the police.